All right, everybody. This is the Mad Drummer here. I'm gonna be looking into the use of resources and crafting. Right. Um, I've heard a lot of questions about you know uh, in the zone chat. How do I craft and where do I get materials and stuff like that? So I'm just gonna make a short tutorial. Uh, but first, I'm gonna look over how you get uh, resources. Like first off, you can you can collect resources out in the wild, of course, like you would normally be able to. And here I found a, a mine. Um, in ESO, you don't need need any special equipment to, to gather the items. You just run up to it, press the use button, and it, it will automatically use the the gathering tool. Now, as you may have noticed, the mine was kind of bright, um, and that's because I used one point in the keen eye under blacksmithing which makes the resource light up the, f the closer you get and you can do that by with all the the, the different kind of uh, resource finding as well so uh, this is the the wood the maple right here it's a small log lying lying on the the ground and you just again run up to it press the use button and you're able to get gather some resources pretty simple Jute is used for clothing, the clothing skill, uh, which is light armor. And again, you get close to it, you collect it. And this time, I got some crawlers as well, which can be used as bait for when when you're fishing. So that's pretty good as well. Plants, alchemy. There's a, a wormwood there. Um, they all have different colors, so. You can believe blue, yellow, green, red. And last but not least, finding for enchanting those rooms. They also have different colors. All you have to do is just, you know, locate them and, and pick them up. So that's about it. Now there's another way of gathering resources. And you can do that uh, when you run around the world and collecting stuff. First I'm just gonna show you here how to extract the, um, the ore I've been collecting. So you just go to the extraction, you, you double click it and press the R key or click the, the button down there and you collect. There I got seven ingots and I can use them to, to craft. Now, as I was explaining, there's another way of gaining materials, and that's when you find items you don't really need, like this, uh, for, the, uh, for example, this axe. You just you you can de you can deconstruct it the same way as you extract the the iron ore, and you you get, in this case, iron ingots, and you get experience in blacksmithing as well, and you sometimes get like special item, in this case, a moonstone, which I'll be explaining what what you're using that for. Now I'm gonna hold on to the green items here because I'm gonna show you something that's pretty neat in this game as well. Uh, I'm just gonna deconstruct all the, the armor I found as well just to show you that that is also possible. And I'm gonna hold on to the green shoulder as well. All right. So, this is the, the main area of crafting, uh, in this case it's weapon crafting, you can see the type of weapon, uh, you can see the stats of the weapon here, and you can scroll through the different kind of weapons you can make. So I'm, I'm probably, I'm gonna go back to, to making an axe. So now you're gonna choose the material. Um, the starting number of materials is three in this case and it would you know if you add more material the level and, uh, and the damage of the weapon will rise and also the value so you can actually go to nine resources and it will do a, do a lot more damage than, than the basic ones and of course when you get higher level you get better resources and you'll be able to make better weapons and so on and so forth the style 
is the crafting style. I'm not really sure. I don't think it does anything specific except the... You know, the, the looks of the weapon. So, that's not much. Uh, traits are used to put like special tr uh, traits on, on, on the weapon or the armor. Uh, but you need to research that. I'll go over the research pane in, uh, in a few seconds. But, you know, you, you, you do that down there. So the overview is pretty simple. You choose the weapon, you choose the materials, you choose which style and if you want to trade on it. And then you just craft them. Same goes for armor. I'm just going to produce a, a couple of girls here. To get some experience. That's one. Again, I gain experience. I'm gonna crack one more. So, and actually, you can recycle. If you don't really need these items, you can recycle them. I'm um, just gonna just gonna craft an iron battle axe here. One more, and then we're probably done. So, actually, I can go back to the extraction and then recycle some of the resources I used crafting these items because I'll gain experience. Not a lot, but but a bit. Now, you can upgrade your items or your weapon or your arm, armor. Um, the ones you create are normal items. Um, I'm just gonna craft this, uh, an axe here to show you because I just compared to the others. Now you double click it, and depending on how many, in this case, honing stones you have, uh, the chances are, of course, higher that it will succeed. So I'm gonna try with the three here, 60% uh, chance to make it. Uh, Somewhat better. And I get a warning, the item might, might break, and you know. But that actually works. So now I have a green iron axe, and if I had some more materials, I think it's some kind of oil, I would be able to make it into a blue item, and purple item, and yellow items, which is legendary. So that's pretty neat. And research, the research panel. <clears throat> when you find green items, as I showed you before, I didn't deconstruct those, uh, you'll be able to research the, that specific trait. It will take some real life time. Um, in this case, I'm already researching some armor. Um, yeah, I have some, some time left on that. Um, and you, you know, you research the different things on the items, and then you'll be able to use that knowledge to produce your own items with that specific uh, trait. So, and the same thing goes with the with the clothing and woodworking. So it's it's the same deal. You choose the item, you choose resources, and, and you produce and research and all of that. So it's, it's pretty simple when you look at it. Alright, I'm just gonna look over the crafting and uh, the crafting of alchemy. Um, you need a solvent and you need a couple of re regents. Uh, now, I haven't found any regents that have a lot of um, stats on them, so I, I haven't discovered them yet. But I'm just gonna try with a couple of things here to see what happens. Um, Gonna use a solvent, which you which you find it all over. You can find it in in uh, creeks and uh, small water ponds, whatever. Oh, I, that didn't work very well. I didn't get anything from that. So I'll try two different, like these two. All right, I crafted, and you know what? I discovered the traits. So these 
both give healing. But, you know, you can combine them in different ways and... Well, eventually you will discover all the traits or you can Google it at some point. Probably somebody's gonna make a guide, maybe me, but not for sure. But that's generally how it works and you can just gather all you want and, and try. So, the last one is enchanting. You need three different kind of runes. And unfortunately, I didn't have a round room at this point, but I'm missing that one. But then again, I I went to the the extracting because I think I found a couple of. Sorrow seems my only companion. Gonna go to extraction. Yeah, I found some glyphs. So I'm gonna extract those glyphs to on, see if I found a uh, find the right round one. Let's see, Ta added and Drew added. Yep, that's a that's a Ta. So I can I can make my own glyph now. And glyphs are of course used on your armor or your weapon to to enchant those items. There we go. So, th you translate the runes, and again, like alchemy, if you combine them in different ways, you'll make different kind of glyphs. Uh, we'll see what glyph I made, trifling glyph of disease resist. Well, yeah, probably good enough. But, yeah, that's how it works. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be making more videos later on. Um, Please follow the YouTube channel if you feel like it. And you can catch me on Twitch. The data is uh, in the description of the video. So I hope you learned something. And I'm the Mad Drummer, and I'm out. <laughs>